Come one, come all. This is Barefoot Banjo's review of the Eastman fiberglass tenor trombone case. Silver one. Alright. You can see, because this is a fiberglass case, it does have latches, and you can put stickers on it if you so desire, but it does get a lot of markings on it, so there's a one drawback, but if you like fiberglass cases for tenor trombone, this is one of the few universal ones that is in fiberglass and not a zipper fabric one. It has feet on the bell end, it's got feet on the bottom of course, with some somewhat wide hinges. It's got a nice handle, actually pretty comfortable, somewhat kind of soft feeling, I don't know, it's a pretty standard feeling handle, like something you can get on like a regular Bach or con case or whatever. There's no handle on this side, which bothers some people, but I don't really mind it. I did use this little latch here to put on the name tag, so it's good enough for me. And then it does come with backpack straps. It's actually not too terribly uncomfortable, despite it being a pretty hard case. And the bell could hit you in the back of the head if you're not careful, especially with the bass trombone version of this case, which I would not recommend. This one does good. I would recommend the tenor version of this case. So when we undo the latches, and there's four, there's four latches, don't forget to undo this one on the other side of the bell, because if you do, when you go to open the case, you're going to feel like you're breaking the horn. We, we see a lot of black, but we also see parts of the horn sticking out. This is the King 1480, and it has the 9-inch bell. It almost looks like it wouldn't fit in the case, but fits in the case perfectly. This case, I believe, holds up to 9.5-inch bells. And it seemed to take on this horn with no problem. On this side, you can see we have the compartment for all your stuff, all your valve oil and whatnot, and it does have this elastic thing that makes it shut on its own, which I'm not a very big fan of, uh, but whatever, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. And then covering the body of the horn, the bell section, whatever you call it, is this like little fabric things with velcro on it that just sit like that so the horn doesn't come out, but eh. It's not the strongest Velcro, so with minimal force you can just take it off, but, you know, I st still feel like it does something, especially because the case is closed and it's up against this, I don't really think the body of the horn's going to be moving anyway. And you can see we have some a nice, uh, very padded area for the throat of the bell to sit on. we got even more padding here, which you can take off, and there's actually an even bigger piece of padding that sits right in this area, so if you're using a horn that doesn't have the extra layer from the focus, so if you're using a horn that doesn't have the extra layer from the, you know, valve, you can place this here so it'll still sit straight, because this case used to hold a Con 6H, and it held that very, very nicely also. I'm gonna put this back in here, nice and secure, there's not a lot of wiggle room. It even holds the sideways, uh, lever um, nice and fine and it doesn't damage itself or anything because when it, the case shuts it just goes into this empty space here and it's not interfering with anything. And going on to the slide it has this nice big piece of wood surrounded by pads to keep it in. There's no way this slide's going to come out. This velcro here is a lot stronger and the whole slide except for you know the end here and this part here which goes against here and here anyway are nice and protected. I feel very safe. I feel even safer keeping this slide in this case than I do in the king case that it came with because every time I opened that case this slide would fall out. And undoing this, take it back, let me see slide. It's got padding right here, a lot of empty space, even more padding here, and it's even got this little slide crook shaped pad on top of the other pads to keep it from not wiggling around a lot, you can kind of see this little U-shaped thing. And then it has this little pocket here for it to slide into. Very nice. Um, it seems to be, seems to, the end seems to go even longer, so it'll fit slides that are even longer than this one, which this is not a very long slide, it's an average slide. And even though this has the finger ring and it has the thing here, fits it perfectly fine. This case is very secure, um, comes in a lot of colors too, so if you like colors, 
Um, it has that. So uh, yes, I would recommend this case, especially if you don't care about a handle on this side. And if you like latches um, over zippers, which I'm 50-50 on anyway, then this will go. I mean, it does get marks on it, but again, if you don't mind marks on your case and you just want something that's secure, that's going to latch nicely, you can put stickers on if you want, it's going to have good backpack straps and it's going to keep your horn nice and safe with a nice big compartment. This is the way to go, I say, um, for jazz or uh, F attachment tenors.